Welcome to JHeart Model Works. In the next couple of videos, I'm going to turn all of this into one of these. Welcome to my workbench. Let's get started. So before we get started, I quickly want to go over the materials we're going to be using today. We're going to start with some plastic rod and I'm going to be using some evergreen 1 8 inch rod as well as some evergreen 1 16th inch rod. Next we're going to use some soda can. I like to sand the paint off so that I get a nice clean aluminum because it's going to give me a nice metal finish for some metal parts. We're also going to use some sheet styrene. This is just a small piece of 0 0.02 inch sheet styrene. We're going to use some Tamiya masking tape. We're going to use a pin vise and some PC board drill bits. We're going to use some super glue. This is some Bob Smith Industries Maxi Cure. We're going to use some Tamiya extra thin cement. Next, we're going to use a metal file. This is just a, an old tester's flat file. We're also going to use some sanders. These are my thinny stick sanders by Ultimate Modeling Products. You can get these at umpretail.com. An important piece we're going to use today is a cordless drill. I use a Makita cordless drill as a lathe. I wish I could afford a lathe, but it's just an expense that I can't afford for as little as I use one. We're also going to be using some paints. I'm going to use some Tamiya LP7 Pure Red, LP38 Flat Aluminum, some LP48 Sparkling Silver, and some Vallejo Model Air White. Alright, so let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cut a section of our 1 8 inch plastic rod. You want to cut a piece that's long enough for what we need. We're then going to go ahead and use a UMP thinny stick and we're just trying to square up the ends so that they're not angled. We want this to be as flat as we can. This is a 240 grit and that's a really good grit for really lobbing off some material and you know, getting a, a shape. The first piece of this I cut, um, I cut it a little bit too short and I had to start over. So just make sure you get enough material. You, um, you don't want it so long that you're going to end up having to cut it later because we're fixing to do some shaping. But at the same time, you don't want it to be too short that it doesn't look right. This is going to be a longer video, so I am going to move ahead. You will see a little bit of jumping as I cut out some just empty spots. So what I'm doing here is I'm just going to put some Tamiya tape around the outside of the, the cylinder and I'm doing this so that when I chuck this into my drill the drill chuck doesn't dig in and mar up the plastic so this tape will just give like a little cushion between the drill chuck and our fire extinguisher. We're going to start with our 0.7 millimeter drill bit and you really want to line this up as close to the center as possible. If you don't get it centered it's going to make the the whole piece look bad. It's going to be your, your neck for your fire extinguisher is going to be off to one side and it's just, it, you'll end up, it, it won't look good if you don't start over and get as close to the center as you can. So, the 0.7 millimeter drill bit lets us start, and we don't want to drill all the way through it, we just want to drill in enough so that we can sink the 1 16th inch in there. Uh, we're going to step up from the 0.7 millimeter to the 0.9 millimeter, and we're just going to broaden that hole out slightly. You could go one bit up. I jump um, two or three while I'm doing this. 
correct and we've got several steps to go we actually have to get up to 1.6 millimeters so I'm just gonna jump a couple of steps at a time so now we're gonna switch the 0.9 millimeter bit out for our 1.1 millimeter bit and again just continue widening our hole we don't want to get any deeper just continue to widen up what you've got from the 1.1 we're going to move on to our 1.3 millimeter bit And we're gonna finish this off with the 1.6 millimeter bit. Now we're going to take our 1 16th inch uh, plastic rod and we're just going to insert it in there and make sure it's fairly centered, make sure it fits nice and snug. Then we're going to go ahead and chuck this up into our cordless drill. You don't want to get it too tight. You don't want it so tight that you crush the plastic, but you just want it tight enough for it to hold firmly while we're sanding. So we're going to take our metal file and we're going to start drilling the drill and we're just going to rub the file back and forth at an angle across that corner. Uh, what we're trying to do is bring that corner to a, a more gradual soft curve so that it's not a 90 degree cut like that. We want it to be nice and smooth, smooth like the top of our fire extinguisher. So you just move it back and forth. And as the drill is spinning and you're sliding back and forth with the file, it'll, it'll pretty quickly start to take shape. up here in a second and just check our work see we're starting to make some progress here and now we're about done we're going to switch to our 240 grit UMP thinny stick and we're going to smooth that out a little bit more with our sander and then we're going to switch to our 400 grit this is my favorite thinning stick. I use this for almost everything. And we're just going to finish off smoothing off that, that surface and getting a nice clean curved edge. So we're going to check our work. So we're going to take the part out and we're going to remove the tape and then we're going to mask off to the other side.
So now that we've got the top end masked off, we're going to put that back into our drill and we're going to begin using our metal file to soften the edge on the bottom of our extinguisher tank. And we're not trying to get a soft round like we did on the top. We're just trying to take the edge off so that it's not perfectly square and it's more of a soft beveled edge. With the metal filing done, we're going to go ahead and smooth this out with the 240 grit. And we're not going to move on to the 400 after finishing with the 240. I thought that was good enough. All right, so take the masking off and that is the tank portion. You can see there's definitely a difference between the top and the bottom. So we're gonna take some of our Tamiya Extra Thin. We're gonna test fit to make sure everything fits nice and snug, which it does. We'll go ahead and apply some extra thin to the end of our plastic rod and then slide that into our tank. cutters and I'm going to cut some off so I'm going to put that away so now we're going to take our metal file and we're just going to file a flat spot on one side of the neck and this is going to give us a flat surface for us to glue the nozzle to now if we wanted to make a NOS bottle we would stop here we would paint the tank blue, paint the neck silver, uh, make a small handle for the turn knob, maybe drill out the top of the neck and run some wire out the top to act as a hose and go from there, maybe stick a decal on there. We can get those from Hero Boy, but we're making a fire extinguisher, so we're gonna keep going. We're going to go ahead and put a drill bit back in. I forget what size that is, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to use this to drill into another piece of 1 16th inch. And we're going to use this to make our nozzle. Again, you want to get as close to the center as you can. Try and keep it straight and lined up. Be careful drilling this. You don't want to go through the sides and drill your finger. Once again, we're going to step up just a couple of bits at a time through our drill bits and we're going to widen this hole until we get a realistic looking nozzle opening. I'm not going to show every step of this. I'm just going to go ahead and skip forward to once we're done drilling out the hole. Just make sure you step your way up and don't just go straight to the massive bit. 
Here you can see we have a fairly nice looking opening. Camera will focus, there you go. So you can see about where we ended up. I forgot to list this in our uh, materials list, but I did use some Tamiya panel line wash and I just dropped it down inside the hole. It gives me a better ability to see and make sure that the hole is about the thickness that I really want it. Using our cutters, we're gonna go ahead and cut the tip of that off. And we're gonna use some Tamiya Extra Thin and we're gonna glue the nozzle onto the flat that we made on our neck. Now we're going to take our cutters and we're going to cut flush along the top of where the nozzle sits. And that's pretty much going to have a set. Now I will go ahead and cut the nozzle down. Here we are with the nozzle cut down a little bit. And it's all finished for the actual body of our tank. And that's where we're going to wrap this up for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a like and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this video or even suggest other content you'd like to see. If you're not already a subscriber, please consider clicking the subscribe button and click the bell icon to be notified when the next video gets published. And please consider sharing with others. Stay tuned for part two in which we'll finish up the fire extinguisher with the handle and a mounting bracket. And as always, have a great day.